what's up welcome to my channel if you guys are new here or welcome back if you guys are always here my name is julia christine today's my 24th birthday and i thought i would do a little get ready with me to do nothing basically to eat dinner to take a picture that's all i'm doing tonight we love a good quarantine birthday i had a little cider boys and i did my makeup so here it is didn't want to scare you guys so i'm coming on with some makeup on let's get into it so since it's my birthday i'm gonna crack open a drink Perfect timing for the sun pump to go off. We love that. I have to get ready in like record speed here because I'm pretty sure my mom's making dinner and it will be ready semi soon. So probably won't be telling you guys all of the products that I'm using, but I'll put everything that I use kind of on the screen in the corner and then I'll link everything down below. So today is my 24th birthday and I know a lot of people are like, what, you look like you're 16. <laughs> baby face problems but yep I'm 24 today I didn't really do much of anything really I sat outside did some scratch offs because I was gifted some scratch offs for my birthday and responded to a lot of your guys's messages so thank you so much if you reached out and said happy birthday to me I appreciate all of the love and support that you guys have been giving me recently like you guys have no idea how much it actually means to me so thank you so much but I got my free Starbucks today because obviously you got to do that when you have a free reward. I also have one to Caribou, but I wasn't going to drink like three cups of coffee today because that wouldn't be good for me. Literally just getting ready today to take a picture and then I'm taking all of this off. It's kind of a waste, but I literally have not put on makeup in pretty much a month. So my skin has been loving it, that's for sure. I have a mirror like way the heck up here and it's just not, not good. Every single time that I do get ready with me is I just never know what to talk about and all that's really relevant right now is Miss Rona. So if you guys aren't aware, I do have a podcast and episodes go live every single Monday, but an episode went live today and I talked about 24 things that I've learned slash I'm still learning, just kind of life lessons that I've learned. So. Um, that was kind of a an eye-opening episode for me to just talk about everything because I've kind of had a lot going on lately. I always think it's good to like reflect on the mistakes that you've made and I guess help others to learn from those mistakes too. That was kind of a fun episode to put together. Definitely let me know if you guys ever have any podcast topics that you want me to talk about because I'm always interested in hearing your guys' feedback and what you guys obviously want to listen to. If you guys haven't tried this concealer, it is my favorite. It's really inexpensive at Ulta, so like I said, I'll link everything down below. I see I missed a spot for self tanning there. Also, I did my nails. This company sent me some gel nail polishes and they're actually really good. This is kind of like a light purpley color. It doesn't really come up the same on camera. She's cute. I need this mirror to be like a foot taller. Is that a bad idea? Probably. Better. So a lot of people always ask me, very similar questions for every single video and I guess I can kind of address some of the more commonly asked ones even though I've already kind of talked about them in random vlogs but I'm aware that not everyone watches every single video or they don't watch all the way through so maybe if you're curious about these topics then maybe you didn't just hear me talk about them but a lot of people are asking about graduation and if I'm still graduating and the answer to that is yes um clinical obviously has been suspended and basically done for my class. It's just crazy to not have taken an x-ray for school since before spring break, so the beginning of March. So pretty wild um, that some of my classmates unfortunately haven't been able to practice taking x-rays, but I say this all the time, but I have a student x-ray job, so thankfully I've been able to work and still keep up with all of that. So yes, I am still graduating. I will graduate on May 15th and um, we just won't have a commencement. So that'll be kind of strange, but honestly, I wasn't really very keen about walking anyway. I don't know, just wasn't something that I really wanted to do because my brother is also graduating from his college on the same day as me, but he is 
at a different college and uh, my parents would have had to like split up and go to two separate colleges and then we would have had to like meet together so it kind of works out in the end but um, if things are opening back up I'm sure we will have like a little dinner or something here at my parents house and yeah I'm excited to get into the work field but obviously it's a little bit different than it usually is because normally the x-ray classes would be able to take their boards right away but I haven't heard back from the ARRT yet so I don't know when I'll be able to schedule my boards and obviously in order to work as a technologist you have to be registered um, unless you're like a limited licensor, licensure which I don't have that so I don't know what's gonna happen but obviously I'll keep you guys updated with that I'm trying out this blush. This is like the second time I've used it. But it's like a gel cream type of blush. I feel weird when I wear blush, I don't know. But it's so pretty on other people, so I'm just trying to get used to it on myself. Hmm, what else, what else? Got the Benefit Cookie Highlighter, finally. And it is beautiful. I have one little pimple right on my cheekbone and I haven't broken out in quite a while since I haven't been wearing makeup, so. Thanks, pimple. We love having you here. But Curology has been doing great things for my face, I will say, and that is not sponsored. Apparently though, my friend Hallie told me that she was doing some research and with like retinoid creams, apparently you're not supposed to wear those on a daily basis. So, or I guess apply those, not wear them, but apply them on a daily basis. So the fact that the nightly cream has retinoid in it, um, unfortunately I shouldn't be using that every night so I've been going to every other night if you guys are familiar with Curology you have to like put it on every single night but I've been doing every other night since it has retinoid in it I'm gonna do my brows off camera because I have to like scooch down to this mirror down here so be right back we back also this is the oldest palette ever but we're using it today um I literally am the worst at eyeshadow, so we're just gonna test it out here, give her a whirl. That's not what I was expecting. I can't even tell if that looks like I have any kind of eyeshadow on. Let's go darker. <laughs> I'm gonna look scary as hell. I can just feel it now. I literally wear eyeshadow like two times a year, so I have no goals of getting better. I kind of regret this. Oh well. Whatever. It's fine. Everything's fine. Wow, I just am horrible. <laughs> and this is exactly why I don't film Get Ready With Me's because I'm just not good at them. I'm gonna attempt to do some eyeliner. I don't even know if I should do this. I feel like I just shouldn't. It's just gonna be a big failure. Should I try it? Ooh, maybe not. Okay, we're not doing it. If you guys have never tried this mascara, it is the best. It is Thrive Liquid Lash Extensions. And I think I got a $10 off coupon, so I need to buy another one because this is a mini. <laughs> I will say the one person I miss the most during this quarantine is my lash girl, Jordan miss you girl oh my god I'm struggling she looks pretty bad <laughs> my friend Brittany is amazing at eyeshadow and I'm just like how teach me your ways I have a very small lid space so that's probably why Ooh, that was kind of hot I think my mom and I might go rollerblading later, so that might be fun. It looks like it's pretty blue outside still. So I appreciate Mother Nature this year for giving me a nice birthday because I think I talked about this on my podcast, but when I was younger, obviously we'd have like birthday parties or whatever. I would invite friends over. And for some reason, this one birthday stands out the most to me because of this reason. But after we celebrated and like had dinner or whatever, um, we went into our hot tub at my parents' old house, like the house that I grew up in, and we all were just celebrating in the hot tub, and obviously the end of April can be pretty unpredictable weather-wise, 
So it actually snowed and we were in the hot tub while it was snowing. The amount of times I've had to cut that stupid sun pump out of my videos and podcasts, I can't even tell you. This is just riveting content. We love it, so fun. Anyway, but that birthday party, I'm forgetting what I'm talking about, uh-oh. If you guys listen to Lennon Stella, she's like one of my favorite artist, artists. <laughs> but she came out with a new album on like the 21st or 22nd of April and I was listening to it today and she's so good. But I just love her voice, it's super unique. I remember when her and her sister um, sang Call Your Girlfriend and they were like really young at the time, her and her sister Macy, but I just remember those YouTube videos because they both had such unique, beautiful voices. I wish Post Malone would come out with some new music and I realize he just released one like at the beginning or not the end of 2019 so I'm being selfish over here but love me some Post Malone like if I could be friends with one celebrity I think Post Malone would be my choice if you get to this point in the video and you'd like to share with me I would like to know who would you choose to be friends with if you could choose to be friends with a celebrity I would like to know who your choice is Okay, we're gonna speed through the rest of these curls because I'm dumb and don't know what else to talk about. <laughs> My battery is about to die, but this is the Unite Texturize uh, Dry Finishing Spray. This is seriously one of my favorite products to make my hair like a little bit more voluminous. Get yourself a texturizing spray. I'll link it down below if they still have it. <coughs> Just inhaled a bunch of it. So that is the finished get ready with me. I'm actually, no it's not. I'm also gonna use some lip gloss for literal no reason. Like I'm literally just getting ready to take a freaking picture. How ridiculous does that sound? Thank you guys so much for watching this get ready with me. I know I'm not the best at makeup, but you guys were asking what my daily makeup routine is and this is it. I usually don't do eyeshadow, but I'll do everything else the exact same way. So don't forget to go follow me over on Instagram and that's all. Okay, I'll talk to you guys very soon in a new video.